I absolutely loved all three of her ju <laughs> so true mem memoir. So question three is you're feeling your <laughs> question. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the book scenario tag. I was tagged by two people, Kelly's Book Spill and Lindsay Hart's book, so I will leave their descriptions down in the box and you guys can go check them out because they're pretty cool. There's a total of seven questions that I'm going to be answering. I'm just going to read them off the laptop because they're really long questions and I just, I don't want to memorize them, so deal with it. So, let us get started! Whoa. The first question is... You have to get rid of all your books and you can only keep one from each of these genres. Contemporary, fantasy, non-fiction, and one other genre of your choosing. What books do you keep? For my contemporary, I'm choosing The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I absolutely loved all three of the Summer Trilogy books, but this one was the one that started it, so I feel like I should keep the first one. For my fantasy, I'm picking Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy. I I love this book. I actually have two copies of it. I'm giving one to my friend, so really I, I'm only going to have one, but I absolutely love this book. It's it's so good. It's so good. This is actually the only nonfiction book I have, and it's actually not even mine. It is Let's Pretend This Never Happened, a mostly true memoir by Jenny Lawson. And I have not read this book, but it sounded funny, so I, I picked it up. But haven't read it, but this is the only one I have, so by default it wins. And lastly, I am picking a paranormal romance for my genre of whatever I want, and that is Dead Rules by Randy Russell. I love this book. I talked about it in one of my top five videos, and I just, I really love it, so I'm keeping it. You're at the bookstore and you hear a teenager telling their mom they don't like to read, but their mom insists they pick something. You walk over and recommend a book you think is great for people who aren't big on reading. What book is it? So I'm going to assume that this is a girl, and I'm going to pick The Duff by Jodi Keplinger because I absolutely love that book. It is so cute, and I, I think anybody would like reading it. Anybody who I've recommended it to, they've all loved it. So that is really the book that I recommend for everybody, so The Duff. I don't know what I'd pick for a guy, probably something with assassins, but I don't know. Question three is you're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up. Which book do you read to put yourself in a great mood? The Duff? Can, can I pick that again? No? No? I would pick anything by Louise Renison. I think she's hilarious. She always, always makes me happy when I read her books. So. The next question is... You go back in time for a day to your teenage years. What book would you most likely have caught yourself reading? The Duff? <laughs> uh, I could just answer The Duff for everything, but it's fine. I'm actually a teenager now, so I'm just going to pick a book that I really liked. Divergent by Veronica Roth. I love this book. I think anybody would love this book, boy or girl. Hey, I recommend this to a guy. There you go. I win. I would have probably caught myself reading this or The Hunger Games because I really like those two books. Question five is, your friend surprises you with a four day trip and you have one hour to pack. Which book do you bring to read on the way? I would pick Seven Deadly Sins. This is Lust and Envy and it is by Robin Wasserman only because it is very long and I haven't read these books but I've wanted to for a while. But it's two books in one so I only can bring one book so now I have two. And it's four hours, so I can finish one book in four hours. And then I have one for later, so look at that. I'm very prepared. Question six is, your house has been robbed, don't worry, everyone is safe, but your bookshelf has been raided. What is the book you really hope is safe? If I own the duff, then the duff, but I don't. So, Troll Fell by Katherine Langrish. I think this book is so pretty, because, because I just... It's so beautiful, so I would want this book to be safe, because all my other books, they, they aren't that pretty. They're just, they're just covers and books, but, like, I think this book is so cool. It's so cool. Question seven is, your friend borrows a book and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask your friend to replace it, 
or C, secretly do the same thing to something of theirs. I would pick B because I wouldn't want to pretend that it didn't happen because I would be really upset about it and I don't want to wreck someone else's stuff because, I mean, I was upset about it so it's kind of mean if I did that to somebody else. So B, I would want them to buy me another one because I don't think it's fair that they wrecked it. Alright guys, so that is the book scenario tag. I will leave who I tag down in the box below, so check that out. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! I don't even own the duff, so I can't pick the duff, or that would be the option. But it was a library book and I had to give it back and I'm really upset about it. But it's okay. Hi.